just go on ahead and kill me now. Yo, ho, ho, Da Mafia. I'm surprised that I was even able to put a smile on my face when I just did my introduction right there. There's no surprise. There's no surprise, much like every other member of Bill's Mafia, that we are disappointed after, I would say, the most upset I have been about a game since last year's 60-mile-an-hour Patriots win the game, right? Yesterday's display on the field from the Buffalo Bills is still pissing me off. Like, last night, I feel like I couldn't go to sleep outside until, like, 2 a.m., literally just going through my head of like all of those single missed opportunities that the Buffalo Bills had. Now, listen, I understand, but I don't want to throw any excuses out there, right? I'm not going to, right? I know that we had a depleted secondary. For the most part, they did their job, right? Minus that one third and 22 pass from Tua. For the most part, I think that it, it being filled with a bunch of rookies and practice squad guys, they they held their own with Elam. He did a great job in containing Tyreek Hill, which is something that I think that we should all be happy about. Benford did great right up until he ended up fracturing his hand, which just ended up happening. Um, that's yet another and so concern that Buffalo Bills and Bills Mafia needs to deal with. Defense, I wouldn't put any blame on them whatsoever. I really, really wouldn't. The reason the Dolphins won was is because they took advantage of the few opportunities that they did, and that was much unlike the Buffalo Bills, right? I'm sitting here, and I could recall the drop Gabe Davis touchdown, right? Has to be made. The underthrow from Josh Allen in the fourth quarter. It's rare, especially from his level of game going into his fifth year. Maybe I would see that during his first or second, but like that's a play that Josh Allen needs to capitalize on. Um, with Tyler Bass missing that 38-yard field goal, I don't care if it was tipped. I really don't care if it was tipped, right? Those are executions that need to be made when the opportunity presents itself. Matt Milano, very hard to rip on him, but dude, like you're a damn superstar on this team. You knew as far as our secondary was concerned, it was depleted. It's just over and over and over again, and I like think about all of the things that the Buffalo Bills could have done differently and take advantage of like one of those opportunities, right? Like, I'm not gonna sit here and harp on it. Like, this was not just one mistake, right? This was not one mistake. This was four, five. Say, for example, that we were to even take advantage of three or four of those misfires, right, or lack of execution, we would have continued our streak of. 21 plus games of winning by double digits right but i mean we just didn't end up doing it i mean as far as the box score i mean i hate when people pad up stats and they're like oh my god look at that like the bills did like 500 in total offense controlled controlled the clock which we did josh allen like yeah now he's the leader in passing yards but frankly i would have much rather the dub this past sunday it was just a game from hell it was an absolute game from hell. Like, I mean, like you're looking at, damn, 120 degrees on the field. It's not an excuse either. Um, half of these guys are from Florida. I definitely understand that it's hard to play in those conditions. But so when I see my players passing out on the sideline, we already go into this game with damn 15 injuries, stocked up about five or six more. And the guys that were healthy, quote unquote, were healthy, were all playing hurt. And we're all playing like in like that, um, that level of uncertainty. So... Really, overall, during the game, I know what the title says. And so the title is just like, the Buffalo Bills practice squad loses to the Dolphins by two, uh, which is true. But I'm not going to go on ahead and throw that out there as an excuse. We had a bunch of opportunities that should have been capitalized on. Literally, if one of them, if one of them, if one of those would-be points were to be on the board right now, we would have won that game. If Tyler Bass were to hit that, we would have won the game. If some of those botched snaps from Van Roten right before he got hurt, then Manx, like, for the love of God, we need Mitch Morse back. 
we we need Mitch Morse back, man. Listen, I said it before the Miami Dolphins game. I said, listen, man, I saw some really ugly snaps from Van Roten right during that Tennessee game. I'm praying to God that Mitch Morse is good. This team right now, and I feel like this is the first time in a long time where the Buffalo Bills have felt any sort of, like, your entire team is in a body bag. This is, I think, the first year in a long time where I can just remember of our injuries just piling and piling and piling and piling. So, really overall, um, I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to give the Dolphins credit. I am. They took advantage of the opportunities that were given to them, and they won, right? I mean... Buffalo Bills are going to go ahead and take this L, and then we're going to move forward right into Baltimore. And then we're going to have to navigate once again with more than likely a very, very injured team once we face off to the uh, Lamar-led Ravens going into week four. Yes, it's very difficult to swallow. It's a hard pill to swallow at this point that we ended up losing to our divisional rival. So, But I do want to point out that this is literally week three. We have a long season. At one point, the Buffalo Bills were 7-6 and six last year. And we saw the efficiency that we had in the playoffs, right? It's all about when a team gets hot at the right time. And if we're going to get hit by the injury bug, I would much, much, much rather it be now. And then we all get healthy. Hopefully we're all absolutely right, like a 100% ready to go, like injury report. And the Buffalo Bills will be just fine. I have no worry whatsoever. My concern level is pretty much at a zero. Right now, I know that we're going to bounce back. It was just a weird game, dude. It was a weird game. Um, Dal Mafia, do me a favor. Leave a comment. What are your thoughts on this? What's your concern level over as far as this injury report is concerned? Really want to hear your thoughts. We're going to have to gear up for the Ravens now, right? So throughout the rest of the week, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing my What the Media is Saying About the Buffalo Bills live stream. That's going to be at 7 p.m. EST. Definitely going ahead and tune on into that. Then we have the AFC East Roundtable on Wednesday. Please send a prayer for me. Send up a prayer to whatever deity that you do. Send me good vibes, energy, whatever you can, man. Listen, I got to deal with TD, bro, on Wednesday night. On Wednesday night, and I need to wear dolphin shit, too. Okay? I'm not thrilled. I'm not thrilled at all. But regardless... Thursday, I'll probably go on ahead and do a preview for the Ravens game. Friday, I'll just mix in a bunch of streams. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, do so. Smash the fuck out of that like button. And before I let you go, you better always remember, let's go Buffalo.